It's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando, and today we are out here in Windermere, Florida. We are here in a community, a Beezer Homes community called Windermere Isles. This is their Washington model home. It's a beautiful floor plan, and you are going to really love the dynamic visual as soon as you enter this home. So remember, this is a new community, so what's really nice is that there is still opportunity for you to build, for you to find your lot, to pick the floor plan, and to go to the design center and pick all of the things that it is that you want and build your new home. But if you don't have time to build and you're looking for inventory, well, I know a secret. They've got a couple inventory homes and I'm gonna find one for you if you don't have time to build. So let's take a quick look at this Washington floor plan. Now this Washington floor plan's five bedrooms, three and a half baths, and it's just over 4,000 square feet. I believe it's 4,057, give or take. But look at the big, amazing, beautiful, dynamic visual as soon as you enter in this home. This right here behind me is something that very few homes offer floor plan wise and I can tell you every time I have one of these video tours on the YouTube channel this is the one that people most often say I want a home like that one I want that one because they want that really big beautiful visual so let's take a tour of this home so over here as soon as we enter into the home over here to the left you're gonna have this room right here now it does not have a closet so this is going to be more designated as an office or a den or a study space so to speak but this is really nice and you'll notice that here in the model home they've also included the tray ceiling here in this room and again you can see the way they have it laid out you've got plenty of room to actually function in here if this needs to be your designated workspace so back over here let's just take a quick peek over here over here you're gonna have your half bath so this is your powder bath and here's the other thing I like this powder bath is located at the very front of the home so it's away from all of the, the kitchen and eating and the family fun gathering over here. It's kind of nice to have that restroom kind of tucked away, a little bit away from all of that. So over here we have our nice big dining room. I love this dining room. I love the big beautiful windows right here. And it also has not just a butler's pantry, but a butler's pantry that really is a complete continuation of the kitchen. Um, it's really beautiful. I love the way they designed this. And you see that it kind of is all flows right on into the other. It's almost like it's not its own own little kind of a, a cubbied area over here. So really nice, big, beautiful um, butler's pantry and a nice big walk-in pantry. Now, let's walk back around the other way because I really want you to see the big visual when you come into the main hub of the home because that kitchen and that family room is really pretty awesome. Don't forget, take a look at all of this iron spindles. Now, one of the things I want to mention, and I've mentioned this in the majority of my videos when we talk about these really dynamic staircases, is that all of these things in the model homes, a lot of times there's options and upgrades that are going to add more money. For instance, with some builders, something like this is really standard as a half wall and then you can upgrade to wooden spindles and then you can upgrade again to something that looks like this where you have the iron spindles. So that's really important to know because not all of the homes are gonna come standard with iron spindles. Something that's gonna vary from builder to builder and floor plan to floor plan, but it's something to file away and remember. Now right over here before we get into the fun, you just this is your initial drop zone when you come in from your garage. You have a nice little cubby tucked away space for you to add your, um, to add your or to, I'm sorry, to drop your purse or your wallet or your keys or your phone, whatever it is that you need. It's nice to kind of just kind of tuck that over there. Now here we are in the main hub of the home. Now if you like a two-story or two-story foyer area, area or a big great room area like this, this is really beautiful. It's going to be Wow, it's, it's this, from right here, this view with this whole, like almost like a bridge going across is really stunning. It's absolutely a really dynamic visual. So this kitchen, you have your informal dining right here off to the side of it. Again, very nice, big and beautiful kitchen. Love, love, love this amount of space. Big island, you've got the opportunity for pendant lights up above. And again, if you're looking for design ideas, I love those pendant lights, aren't those cool? And of course, they're going to coordinate really beautifully with what they've chosen to put over the informal as well. Here's another tip. This I saw in, a, in an inventory home and I'm going to share with you. I'm not going to tell you which one. Somebody didn't really choose the best backsplash and it kind of was a little bit way too much. So this, my friends, is 
pure elegance. You have a beautiful cabinet and you have a very subtle granite, but you really pop that energy and that effect with that backsplash. So if you don't really know how to do design, not saying that I do, I'm just saying that is really beautiful because that at first glance is a, that's a very big kind of a bold pattern, but it is beautiful here in this kitchen. Again, because your granite is more subdued and those cabinets are just so elegant. Okay, that being said, let's keep on going. So here we are in the main hub. You've got your kitchen behind us, the informal, and then look at all the space you have here for your family room space. And let's take a quick peek and look out here out the window. You have a lot of space here and this outdoor kitchen is really beautiful. So if you're a person who likes to have those cookouts and you're looking for a summer kitchen idea, that might just be the perfect one. Now in this Washington floor plan, the master bedroom is on the first floor. So here we are on the first floor, located here in the rear of the home, you have a really beautiful master bedroom. One of the things that I like about this one in particular is that these windows, and by the way, there's one, two, three, four of them, that really not only let in the sunshine, but it just shows you that big, beautiful view of your outdoor living space. Really calming, really relaxing. It's a great, great um, way that this room is laid out and designed. Now look up here too, because this is not just one tray ceiling, but it's two tray ceilings. And look at what a dynamic effect that gives you as well. One other thing I want to point out is that this right here is a stone wall. So this is something that's kind of, um, it's been, I say trending, but not like in the trending version of trending. <laughs> it actually is something that's become very popular in the model homes and, and some of even some of like the inventory homes, they're doing special wall treatments and that's really beautiful. So it's nice to see it kind of up. You might be at the, at the home improvement store yourself thinking, I could never put that on a wall. Well, here it is actually in a room and I think it's beautiful. So take a look at this master bathroom really big and beautiful, nice and wide. I love the amount of space and the amount of flow that you have here in this room. You've got the double doors, you've got a freestanding tub, if that's what you choose to have, separate his and her sinks, a big beautiful glass door shower, and it continues on as you go through your privacy door with the toilet, and then this really oversized closet, which has ample room for everybody's clothes. Big, beautiful space here in this master. All right, so now we're getting ready to go upstairs because that's where a lot more fun getting ready to happen up there. So stay tuned and I'll meet you upstairs. Okay, now we're upstairs at this beautiful Washington model home here at Windermere Isles. This is a Beezer community. Take a look at the view from up here. And remember at the beginning of the video, we talked about how I've had so many buyers that really like this effect. I guarantee you once this YouTube video goes up, People are going to say the same thing. I love that kind of a walkway, that catwalk, so to speak, throughout the house. So as we continue on upstairs, there are four bedrooms up here, plus a loft and a media room. So what's really nice about this layout is if you've got kids, this might be a perfect opportunity for you. So this first bedroom over here has its own bathroom, which is really nice because again, thinking about your family, whether it's a child or whether it's a relative or whether it's just you know friends that, that stay with you, this this is really nice because it can either be a, child, a child's bedroom with their own bathroom or it could be, you know, a guest suite. It's really very nice. So nice, and that, by the way, there's a really big bedroom, a really big walk-in closet, and again, a ton of space over here in the bathroom. It's not a small bathroom by any means. You've got plenty of space in here. So now around the corner and down the hall, you're going to have two more bedrooms that are connected by a Jack and Jill. You know I like my Jack and Jill bathrooms for two reasons. Number one, well, the biggest reason is that it kind of hides all the mess. So if that bathroom happens to not be the cleanest one in the house, no one else is going to happen to walk past it because it's really going to only be utilized by the, the children or the people who live in these bedrooms. So here's your first bedroom. And again, there's so much space in these rooms. That's the other thing I like about this floor plan. This is um, a little over 4,000 square feet and it is very, very usable space. Every square foot of this home, nothing's really kind of tucked away and wasted. So here we are with your Jack and Jill bathroom. So you have your privacy door here for the tub and the toilet. And then of course over here, you've got your two sinks with some counter space. And then over here you have your additional bedroom. So these two bedrooms connected by that Jack and Jill over here on the side of the home and then wait until you see the loft area. So back down this hallway and around the corner, which is another reason I kind of like this. It's almost like this has its own wing over here, but over here we have an additional bedroom and we're also going to have the loft space and the media room. So sometimes I have people, and this is very difficult to understand because there are some floor plans that have a designated media room space, but a lot of times what you do is you convert a bedroom. So if you have to have a specific specified media room, a little bit tricky 
here, but at least this floor plan is going to offer that to us. So take a look here. We're in our loft space, right? So we have loft space over here. And again, you've got, you know, they kind of have it um, kind of staged as like a sitting area. But if you've got kids and you want to make it more of a game room, you can do that too. Maybe not, not enough room for a pool table, but certainly room for a little sectional and a TV or something like that if you want. But you don't really need that TV there. You know why? Because you got the media room right here. And if you're looking for a really cool way to decorate your media room, I think this is absolutely it. Whoever the artist is who did the artwork on these walls in this model home, really kudos. That's beautiful. Really well done. Love this. This is a really, really classic and cool design for a game room. It's very sophisticated. I love it. It's very, very nice. So again, I like this. And you can see that in here they've done the stadium seating. Now that might be an option that you can add. We'll have to find out. But this is a great space too. And again, if you look at the amount of seating they've got, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people easily in here. Nice big room, nice big space. And again, you can shut that door. Now the other thing that this home has you have the four bedrooms over there media room behind me loft space you have another bathroom over here so there's no shortage of restrooms here in this house so nice big bathroom and then over here you have yet another bedroom so this really is a lot of space here in this home over 4,000 square feet right over 4,000 that's 4,057 you have five bedrooms in this home and then you had what one two three and a half baths i think there's a lot of space here and again it's very usable space it's a great floor plan so think about this go back watch this video again put yourself in this home see if you and your family can make this floor plan work does this feel like it's the right amount of space for you hope it is give me a call at 407-848-8042 and if for some reason this one isn't quite the right floor plan then call me anyway because i bet i can connect you to the one that's going to be perfect for you and your family so thank you so much for watching please make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel so that you can be updated with all the videos that we have here whether it's model homes inventory homes even resale homes videos of amenity centers and communities in general. I think it'll be very helpful. But you know what else is helpful? Having me be your buyer agent. So depending where you are right now, whether you are here in Florida or whether you are in another state here in the country or if you are out of the country, if you are watching this and if you find these videos helpful, I think it's only fair that you call me at 407-848-8042. Let me help you navigate through not just these videos, but to all of the multitude of other things there are to consider and to show and to share about this area. All right, guys, thank you again so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Have a great day and happy house hunting.